What if Samsung's next big update isn't about changing how your phone looks, but changing how it feels every time you touch it? What if One UI 8.5 is less about visual hype and more about quietly fixing the things that have annoyed Galaxy users for years? That's exactly what makes this update interesting, and once you understand what Samsung is doing here, you'll realize why One UI 8.5 might be one of its most important updates yet. Before we jump in, if you love staying ahead of upcoming tech trends, before watching please do not forget to subscribe our channels so that you can get notified on daily tech updates. Welcome to Tech Insights, and today we're breaking down One UI 8.5 in detail. At first glance, One UI 8.5 doesn't try to shock you with extreme redesigns, and that's completely intentional. Samsung has clearly moved past the phase of experimenting for attention. Instead, this update feels calculated, confident, and user-focused. Transparency is used selectively across the system, giving menus and panels a modern, layered look without sacrificing visibility. This is not the kind of glass UI that looks great in screenshots, but fails in daily use. Samsung keeps contrast strong and text readable, whether you're indoors, outdoors, or switching between light and dark mode. One of the most noticeable usability improvements is the new floating back button in settings and Samsung's core apps. This change instantly improves one-handed use on large Galaxy phones, making navigation feel natural instead of stretched. Alongside this, Samsung introduces floating, rounded navigation elements that subtly lift UI controls off the screen, giving the interface a sense of depth without clutter. Animations in One UI 8.5 are smoother and more consistent across the entire system. Opening apps, switching screens, and using gestures feels lighter and faster creating the illusion of a performance boost even on the same hardware. This is where Samsung's optimization really shines. The gallery app highlights Samsung's refined design philosophy perfectly, using soft transparency and balanced spacing to keep your content in focus while still feeling premium. Even smaller apps like Calculator receive attention, with redesigned buttons that feature subtle depth and a press-like effect, making interactions feel more tactile and satisfying. These are the kinds of details that most people don't notice immediately, but over time, they dramatically improve the user experience. One UI 8.5 also brings better visual consistency across icons, menus, and topography, making the entire system feel unified rather than stitched together. Comfort plays a major role in this update as well. Samsung has tuned colors, shadows, and contrast levels to reduce eye strain during long usage sessions. Dark mode feels more balanced, and system elements no longer feel overly harsh or flat. Under the hood, One UI 8.5 is expected to bring smarter AI-based optimizations that improve multitasking behavior and battery efficiency by learning how you use your phone. This means fewer slowdowns, better background app management, and a smoother experience over time. One UI 8.5 is not trying to impress you in five minutes. It's designed to feel better after five weeks. That's what makes it different. Samsung is no longer chasing trends. It's refining its identity. The official rollout is expected in 2026, likely alongside the Galaxy S26 series with beta versions already available for select Galaxy S25 devices. If this update is a sign of what's coming next, Samsung's software future looks cleaner, calmer, and more user-focused than ever. Now we want to hear from you do you prefer these subtle, meaningful improvements, or do you want Samsung to take bigger visual risks? Drop your thoughts in the comments, and stay tuned to Tech Insights for more deep tech breakdowns.